Well, I've been so inspired by my visit to the Yarra Valley caviar farm that I've gone off and dug up an old potted salmon recipe from my grandmother that I'd love to share with you right now. Super, super simple. This baby is one that's come straight out of the pond. Now, you probably don't want to buy one whole. The easiest thing I'd recommend is going to your fishmonger, grabbing a beautiful piece of fillet like this one here. And all I'm going to do is get my pan super, super hot, add a little bit of a splash of olive oil. Woo, bit of wind going on there going to grab this and we're always going to cook it skin side down because it's going to be a lot easier to peel it off. So I'm going to get that in the pan and I'm going to let that cook for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add a few capers to this too just to bring out the flavour a bit more. So we'll get them in the pan. I'm always a bit generous with my capers because I think they're absolutely delicious. And in the meantime, I'm just going to take a little bit of the fennel uh, fronds, they're called, so the fennel tops. No need to chop them up. We'll just rip them up and put them in the bowl here and then leave them to the side whilst the fish is cooking, just for a couple of minutes, just till it's cooked through and it starts to flake off. Okay, so we've cooked our fish all the way through. So we're just gonna get it out of the pan here, put it on the plate. Doesn't matter that it's falling apart. It smells absolutely delightful out here right now. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my butter clarifying. I'm going to just chuck a nice big chunk of butter in there, get that melting down. Whilst that's melting, I'm going to get this all prepped up to go in the ramekins. Now this is also one of those recipes that you can use your leftover salmon too. So if you've had a couple of salmon fillets the night before, all you need to do is just use those, which is perfect. So it's a great way to use it all up. So we're just going to get our fennel, mush that in there. I'm going to get a little bit of salt. Now the fish has already had some capers, so we probably don't need as much salt as we'd normally use. Mix that in there. White pepper, because it's a little bit more delicate. Probably don't want to overpower it too much with some black pepper. There we go, get that all in there. While this is clarifying down, I'm just gonna get the ramekins ready. So just got a bit of a pastry brush here. Get that in the ramekin, all the way around. Get them all prepped and ready to go. Move that one out of the way. Get these in the ramekins. I like everything chunky, you'll probably learn that very soon. A bit of a chunky girl. Let's get that in there, all nice and firm down. Once that butter's melting, push that down, nice and firm. It looks absolutely beautiful. Get that all nice and packed in there. And turn this butter off, because it's already done. Get that out of the way. And then I'm literally just gonna put these into casserole dish so we can use it like a bain-marie. Get those in there all nice and snug. Fill this up with about three quarters of the whey with some water. Boiling water is easier then you can just shove it straight into the oven and it's all ready to go. So I've got that in there and then I'm going to use just use a spoon use some of this clarified butter just to seal these so we don't need to put too much on there just a couple of tablespoons on each one. There we go. Get that done, leave that there, and I'm just literally going to put this into the oven at about 150 degrees for about 10 minutes. So after I took these ones out of the oven, I topped them up with the remainder of the clarified butter, put them in the refrigerator for three hours until they've set, and as you can see these ones are set beautifully. So what I'm going to do now is just make my side dish, which is super, super simple. All I'm going to do is chop up some cucumbers, long ways really easy. Make sure you get some nice fresh crisp ones. Chop them up like that. Pop them into a bowl. Put a splash of beautiful apple cider vinegar in there. A bit more salt. Love our salt. Salt and cucumbers. Give that a bit of a mix. Get that all mixed in there. And then I'm going to show you how I serve it up. Just on a Beautiful old chopping board here. On there, I'm gonna get these cucumbers on the board. Put them on there. Like that. Don't worry about just piling things on. It looks nice and rustic, just the way it should. And then we're gonna break off some crusty bread, put that on the board there. And what better way to top this off than with some of the fabulous Yarra Valley caviar on top there. Perfect for sharing. Thanks a million, Granny, for this recipe. Can't wait to eat this with a cheeky glass of bubbles.